Dalton had a homer earlier tonight. Rifles this one by the diving Fernandez. Bonilla is going to try for third with a sore hamstring. Here's the throw, and it gets by Williams. Goes into the camera well. He goes and Bonilla is waved home. And Dalton will be waved on to third. There was a ball that very nearly was a double play. Had Fernandez been able to catch it on the low liner, Bonilla would have been dead between first and second. Instead, he can't come up with it. And as the play unfolds, a run scores. Quick throw to first, and it gets away, but then it hit the umpire. Now Tommy can't pick it up in time, and Dalton slides home. At first, they caught a break when the ball hit Greg Kosk and bounced back to Tommy. If Tommy had picked it up right away, he had a play on Dalton at the plate, but he couldn't find the handle. Hitting it hard, Fernandez has it bounce away. It's all unraveling for the Indians here in the ninth. Make it 10 to 7. From the Indians' perspective, almost everything that can go wrong in a single inning has gone wrong here. As a 7-7 game turns to 10-7 and now more. Sheffield on the first pitch knocks home two more with a single to right. What a night he has had. He has five RBIs on a single, a double, a solo homer, and even when they walked him, it was with the bases loaded. Actually hesitates a little more on that back foot a little bit there. He gave it a little extra. Hit to the whole base hit. It's going to sound like a football score. It's 14 to 7. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Jim Leland's probably saying, and that's enough, guys. Save some of these for tomorrow. Two RBIs on the base knock from Bonilla. A seven-run inning.